okay well it's Wednesday about 11 o'clock in the morning and I'm super excited because I haven't been able to get out on the bank for a good couple of weeks now uh, I went to Romania I think I've had just two nights since I came back from Romania in about the last month I've been super busy with family stuff and I think it's the same with everyone isn't it summer comes around and you've got loads of things that you need to do with the family and I well, don't need to do want to do with the family and fishing sometimes takes a back seat and you know what that's fine because fishing should be enjoyable and family should come first so um, yeah I've got this Wednesday, it's Wednesday like I say I've managed to clear the office desk and I'm going to get out to Horton for probably by the time I get there it's going to be about 24 hours I think um, I don't know how it's been fishing, I think there's been a few fish coming out. Got the kit loaded up behind me in the van, in the trusty van. And um, yeah, gonna go get Dave the carp dog. Head up the uh, the motorway and um, go and see if we can catch a Horton Whacker. All right, let's see how this goes. Right, it was a little bit later than, uh, than I wanted to be leaving my house. Um, had a bit of unexpected work coming, which isn't a bad thing when you're selling fishing rods for a living. Um, but I now need to go to our warehouse, uh, our distribution centre. I've got a meeting with our warehouse manager up there. And um, I had a lovely email saying that some custom build 10 foot high S's, which I actually ordered for myself, have arrived in the warehouse. So um, yeah, I can't wait to get up there and uh, get my hands on them. And hopefully have a fish on them tonight. So here we go. Get some rods, have a meeting, a bit of work, a bit of pleasure, go fishing, happy days. All right, something a little bit different this time. Normally I go right to church and boat. This session, I'm going left on the Kingsmead one. It's about 11 o'clock in the evening or at night and I'm on Kingsmead 1. Um, yeah, I just decided to give this lake a go rather than go around onto uh, Church Lake. It's been fishing quite well, there's been a few fish coming out and uh, yeah, I don't know much too much about the lake. I know it's got a few big fish in it, like really big fish in it. It's got quite a few stockies that they put in. Um, and I've made my way around onto the sort of grassy bank or the river bank I suppose. Um, it's known as and I'm halfway down there I just wanted to fish out into the middle of the lake so my swim allows me access into sort of the middle strip of the lake that comes up sort of runs the the length the main body of water really um, yeah I'm fishing about 70 yards got my new high S's absolutely lovely can't stress enough how good they are 10 foot three and a half so I've put 50 mil ringing on them and I was a little bit worried a bit whether it looked a bit overkill and just wouldn't really sort of fit with the rod. Um, but I didn't didn't have to worry about it. It's been yeah amazing, spot on. Loving them. There we go. Uh, Old bucket of particle out there, and uh, two rods tight on the spot. But um, I've got to be honest, me and Dave, oh, you are absolutely getting savaged by mosquitoes. I've never known anything like this in England. I'll see if I can get the camera out in a minute and take. There must be about 40 of them inside this tempest. I've just got a brolly with me, I don't have a front. And poor Dave, like, I'm just looking at him now, he's covered in them. Absolutely covered in them. Be sleeping for it, good old Dave. So yeah, we'll see what it brings. Um, new lake for me, new challenge. I'll be back, going back onto church, just fancied uh, a little bit of a change this session. And um, yeah, let's see what happens. Hopefully we'll still be here, we won't be eaten by mosquitoes. <laughs> All right, catch you up in the morning. It's gone midnight. And the rod's gone off. Sulking down the net there. I got my first King's Me carp. Only a small one, but nice to be off the mark. Look at that for a beautiful sunrise. Makes it uh, 
worth getting eaten by all those mosquitoes. Last night, they're absolutely savage. Well, I had one last night, about 16 pound, beautiful scaly. And I've actually got one on, and it's done me in the weed bed down to my right. And pulling and pulling and pulling hasn't been working. So I've stuck on the rest. Oh, there we go. So this is my reward for that uh, early morning bite. Weeded me right up. I haven't been stacking that much weed for a long time. But uh, steady pressure and then I had to get down on my hands and knees, peel the, the weed off. Got a huge pile of weed down by the side of the, uh, the swim there. And this beauty was my, uh, my reward. I'm quite sure how big she goes. Oh, we still go. She's full of energy where she's basically been stuck in that fight. Wait there, Dave. Oh, Dave wants to come out and say hello. Oh. There we go. How about that, Dave? Not impressed? No. <laughs> right, slip it back, see if we can catch another. Dave, come this way, please. Bed. Dave, this way. Lay down. Wait. Lay down, good boy. I just see another fish showing on the spot. It's looking good out there for another bite. That fish that I had went 30 pounds one ounces. I didn't think it was going to be that big, but uh, 30 pound one. Still a beautiful sunrise. I just got a camera up just to show you how much weed came in with that. People are sort of like, how do you fish in weed? You've got to have strong tackle. I don't know if the camera's going to pick all that up. That's one great big weed bed the size of a carb on it. And that's what's left after already pulling that lot in from by hand over the top of the fish and it does help to have that's the uh, extra long s net handle nine foot six and you just find that really does help when uh, when you're in these situations so there we go two fish down 130 and a beautiful morning on kingsmead one Out on the spots. Let's hope there's a few more out there. Well, what a result that was. I must admit, I wasn't expecting that fish to go over 30. Uh, made up with that. I say, it proper weeded me up. 
down in this weed. There's no weed out in the swim, and then you just get into the margins, just sort of like uh, around this sort of distance out. And you've got real thick weed, and where it's a deep margin as well. When they bury underneath it, they sort of. Oh, there was a fish there. Oh, you see it? Just there. There's been a few fish showing there, but I can't get a bait round there because of the uh, this overhanging tree. But uh, we'll see how my spot goes, see if I get another to pick up from that. And if not, then I might flick a chod or something, see if I'm doing a underarm flick around the corner there. But at the moment, I don't really see any need to chase the fish there if I'm getting bites off the spot. Um, yeah, chuffed. £30 one. First 30 out of Kingsmead. It's only the second night I've done on it. And to be honest, the first night that I did, I just slotted in uh, one of the corners just for a couple of hours fishing. Um, so yeah, it's nice to do my first proper session on here and get a fish under my belt, made up. I don't know what time it is. I say I said I've mentioned it loads of times on this vlog, but the mosquitoes. Oh my god! Like I've been all around the world. I've done a lot of travelling and stuff, and I've been to like the Everglades and things, and the Philippines where the mosquitoes are massive and they just come and ravage you. But that last night was something else. They were huge, and they were like biting you for your trousers, for your jumper. Um, poor Dave, mate. I don't know how. I don't know how he managed to sleep outside in that. He had them covering him all night long. At one point I counted 40 mosquitoes just sitting on the inside of the Tempest. And every time he splattered one, they couldn't fly because they were so full of blood. And every time he splattered them, he's just got red marks on the Tempest. I might go and sit on film in a minute. It looks like uh, someone's been in there with a red marker pen just dotting around on it. But, um, yeah, there we go. I didn't get any stills, just sort of to mention, I didn't get any stills of that, uh, that last fish, that 30. And I didn't do any of those carpy mat shots with it laying on the mat, pouring water over it and panning up and down the scales and stuff like, you, you know, that you like to get for these sort of vlogs. But the reason for that is basically just the fish care. Um, I was lucky enough to hold it up just for a little bit of vlog piece. That's all I wanted to get on that fish. It had been sat for about 10 minutes in that weed bed with its head buried in weed and then sort of like bundled into the net with a load of weed. And it was full of energy. It still had all of its energy inside that fish. It hadn't been tired out through the fight whatsoever. And I just felt it wasn't right to be trying to sort of like do self takes and stuff. And, um, you know, with it flapping around and things, I just wanted to get it weighed, slip it straight back. A uh, little bit of footage on the camera with a Dave photo bombed. And that's it, that's enough. Um, yeah, lovely fish. Real tanky, stocky one. Lovely fish, that. Uh, I don't know if it's a known one. There's so many fish in here that are over that weight there. I don't know if it's got a name, but uh, we'll see. And yeah, we'll see what today brings. All right, I've got about another, I think it's about six o'clock in the morning now. And I've got until about two, I reckon today. So we'll see what happens. this we have here. A bit of a slippery noodle. So that's the end of my session up on Kingsmead 1. It's been a really enjoyable session. Uh, finished a little bit earlier than I planned. Uh, that didn't really look like the sun to come out and it didn't really look like the fish were going to get on the feed again. But two fish made up with that. Um, yeah definitely going to come back and fish this one again. Dave's getting a bit hot and bothered as well. Look at him, bless him. You right there, Dave? Yeah, look at that drool, lovely. That's gonna end up all over my kit. All the gears loading the van. I've been well impressed with the new rods. Um, those 10 foot, three and a half high S's are just perfect for what I want. You know, I've got the fish out of the weed, casting accurately, um, yeah, love them. And uh, yeah, my new Aqua kit as well. So I've got the new Aqua products kit come through so looking forward to putting that through its paces over the next few months right take it easy people i'll see you soon